All right, time to officially meet our good friend Power Query. Now, Power Query, aka Get and Transform, allows you to do a number of things. First, you can connect to data across a wide range of sources. Second, you can filter, shape, append, merge, blend, transform raw data, basically do anything to it before it gets loaded up for further analysis and modeling. And then third, you can create stored and saved procedures to automate each step of your data prep, kind of like a VBA macro. Now, to access the Power Query tools, it depends on the version of Excel that you're using. If you're using a recent version like Office 365 or Excel 2016, you should see those tools in the Data tab under the Get and Transform section. That's where you can insert new queries, show all of your workbook queries, and also list out the recent sources. So let's take a look at what types of data connections are available to us. So when you click on the actual new query button, you'll see all of these different potential sub menus. And you've got simple ones on the left, like from Excel workbooks, flat files like CSV or text. One really cool one in that left menu is from folder, which actually allows you to point to a folder containing multiple files and have Power Query uh, append and stack and modify those uh, automatically. So we'll do a demo of that later in this section. Um, other options, this doesn't even show all of them. You've got you know, database options like SQL, Oracle, DB2. You've got Azure connections, online services like SharePoint, Dynamic CRM, Facebook and Salesforce, and then some other less common ones like uh, Web Service Data, OData, Hadoop, or Microsoft Exchange. Um, so that's really just a sampling. Now, the thing to note about this course is that I'm not going to show you how to connect to all of these sources. And it's not because I'm lazy or that I don't want to. It's that it's a very, very consistent and user-friendly process, no matter what source you're connecting to. So whether you're connecting to a SQL server or loading up a CSV file, once you've made the connection, you know, maybe it requires authentication or user credentials to access, once you've made that initial connection, the rest of the process is identical. So for this course, we're going to work primarily with CSV files because they do a really good job showcasing the tool's capabilities in a really simple and clear way. So there you go. That's Power Query and the types of data connections.